this show. Here we go. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Thank you guys for being patient with me this morning. We're going to hop into the session. Um, I'm also going to send the replay out so everyone can watch the replay if they cannot get in the live. I really don't know why the link wasn't working. It was a lot happening. But we're going to get started. Is everyone here super excited? Are you guys ready to learn how to build your own signing service? I'm super excited. So that means you're super excited. If you're super excited, put in the chat, I am super excited or hashtag excited or <laughs> anything that lets me know that you guys are here. You're ready. We're ready to rock and roll this thing. So Signing Service Jurassic Class is going to teach you how to leverage notaries to make money for you. So you guys always hear me talking on the live that my signing service, basically, I dispatch notaries all over the country, and they are able to um, complete closings or no general notarizations, and then I make money on the back end because I set it up, right? And so it's the perfect way. I found that when I decided to go into signing, making my own signing service was when I was um booked completely booked and then i can only physically be in so many places at one time right i can only hop on so many e notarizations at one time and so if i had more bodies going out completing this work i would make more money okay so what i want you guys to do is get into your business owner mindset okay so a lot of us when we start working as a notary um we kind of do it like a sole proprietor, even as an LLC, but we don't think large. We just think just me, I'm going to grow. What I, you know, it's I, this taking this new transition is really going to take, you have to really get into building and scaling a company. Okay. So let's talk about it. Okay. What is a signing service? So a signing service is a company that dispatches notaries to complete notarization assignments. OK, so I have a few on the screen on time notary, sunshine signing, the closing exchange. You guys are probably familiar if you've taken um, the training at notary to notary dot com because not notary, but you know what I'm talking about, uh, because I have the full list of signing services at all over the country. And so it's different from a title company. Remember that. So title companies actually do the title work, the deeds and all that stuff like that. Signing services, just dispatch notaries. OK, so on time notary is my signing service. There's also sunshine signing that I put on there, the closing exchange and actually like both of those companies as well. So like all the companies on the screen. So what you'll be doing, what we're learning in this training is how to create a signing service and then how to make it profitable. OK, so a signing service company that dispatches notaries to complete notarization assignments. Now, I'm going to be going over a lot of information. Um, I, I'm not going to get too, 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 too in depth. But at the end, there's going to be a QA, and a And I want you guys to, you know, I mean, you can ask questions now as we're going through it. But I'm going to cover as much as I can. But definitely at the end, make sure you guys ask me anything in particular that you may not completely understand, OK? And so we are going to do our three hours. What we're going to do, because it's 10 to 1, um, at about an hour and 20 or hour and 30 minutes, we're going to take a 15-minute break. We're going to log off. And then we're going to log back in and do the other hour and a half, OK? So that way, you know, that way your brain doesn't get overloaded for three hours, right? <laughs> so I, don't want, I want you guys to, you know, make sure you're taking notes. You can watch this over. There will be a replay. Um, available to you guys. Okay. All right. So let's hop into this. A signing service is a company that dispatches notaries to complete notarization assignments. That is your main function. This, this, so you'll have a pool of notaries that are on your platform and then you would send them out to complete notarizations. Okay. Everyone understand what a signing service is? Any questions on what a signing service is or everyone's pretty, you know, up to date on what that is, what your job is. Let me know. Put it in the chat. Okay. So what kind of signing service should you start? Now, there are some people who have signing services that only operate in their local area. So they only operate in, let's say, Richmond, Virginia, right? Or Houston, Texas, or Orlando, Florida. You can do a local signing service. Um, it's a lot easier, smaller, uh, smaller area. Um, you don't have to know about the laws for every state. You can just, you know, keep it. And, and that's perfectly fine. You can do a local signing service. You can also do a statewide signing service. So let's say you service the entire Virginia. So that means you dispatch notaries 
all over the all over the state. And then lastly, you can do a nationwide signing service. And that's basically where you're servicing the entire country. Um, definitely more work involved because you want to make sure that you know are familiar with the laws for notaries in those states. So that way you can advise accordingly when notaries have questions. And trust me, they will have questions. Okay. And remember, I say this a lot in the notary in the, um, notary signing agent training, the difference between a title company and a signing service. A signing service is going to be more hands-on and supportive with that notary. So when you're at the closing table, typically um, the notary will either call the loan officer, the title company, or the signing service. So they may call you and you need, you need to be able to know where to find their answers. Like, where do I look? Um, how should they do this? What's the loss for their state? And if you don't know, then you can refer them to the title company. But you want to be familiar with that so you're not constantly calling title. Like, you know, I mean, sometimes you do have to call title. You have to call loan officer. But being well versed is going to make those signings run a lot smoother. OK, so do you guys go ahead and put in the chat for me so I can see where we are. Do you guys know at this point what kind of signing service you want to start? Do you want to do local, statewide, nationwide? And I'm asking you this because we're going to get to something in a second that's really going to help you fine tune what you're looking for. So just the same way as I do um, notary signing agent business, I tell you, set your goals. What do you want to do? You need to know. You need to be very specific on what you want to do. And you can start off local and then go statewide and then go nationwide. It's really up to you. Um, if you feel like nationwide might be a bit much, we're going to talk about um, how that works in a second. Um, you can start off and it's nothing wrong with that start. You can start off local with just notaries in your area and just say, all right, guys, you guys are going to work with me. I'm going to send out work and get familiar with get a system down and then go up. So I did that. I started local and then I went nationwide. So it's really over up to you. Um, hold on. I'm reading your chats here. Okay, so I'm seeing local, statewide, nationwide. I'm doing local, but in a year move. Amara, you're doing local? Check you out. Okay, listen, Amari is like, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I love it. Okay, so um, I'm seeing some local, some statewide, then nationwide. So at least you have an idea for what you want to do. Okay, so how are we going to form this signing service? The first thing you want to do is determine what services you want to offer. So right, if you're taking notes, let's talk about it so you can um, begin to build this company. Uh, you guys know on time notary, we do loan closing, e-notary, and general notary work. Very, very uh, interesting. It's definitely um, a lot of work involved, but you can definitely pull that off. Most people just do, like I think we're, I'm pretty sure we're the only company doing all three right now. So I I definitely took a big leap of faith with that. Um, I would definitely say most people just do loan closings and you can make a lot of money just doing loan closings. So don't feel like you have to do all three. You can just do loan closings if you choose. So determine what services you want to offer. Do you want to also do dispatch notaries to do weddings? Do you want to offer dispatch fingerprinting services? Whatever that is, figure out what you want to offer. Some people also do like because I mean, I don't, I'm trying to think what I've seen. Typically, I just see people do loan closings, um, but it's up to you to determine what you want to offer. So most people just start off doing loan closings. That's what I did. Um, actually, I did loan closings and general notary work, actually, when I, when I started. Um, so basically, any calls I couldn't take, I just dispatched to someone else. Um, so figure that out first. The next thing you want to do is LLC your company. So when I do, when I'm talking to you guys about notary signing agent i say it's optional because it's just it's not a lot of risk involved but if you're going to do a signing service honey you definitely 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 one more time definitely want to llc your company you need to protect your personal assets you're going to be uh it's a lot okay and you don't want to open yourself up to be sued and your personal assets be on the chopping block okay so i absolutely absolutely would require you i'm telling you to llc your company okay so that's a limited liability company 
Um, it could just be a single member, however you want to set it up, but definitely want to LLC your company. Okay. So that basically means picking a name, checking to make sure that it is available with your state corp, um, state corporate commission to make sure it's available and then paying those applicable fees to get your company LLC. Okay. Depending on your state, the, fa the fees vary. I know in Virginia, it's only a hundred dollars. I could do it in five minutes and have my LLC done. Um, it just depends on the state that you live in. Okay but you definitely want to LLC your company. The next thing we want to do, guys, is create a business plan, okay? And I can send you guys a sample one. What I'll do after this session is over, I'll send you just a sample um, business plan. It doesn't have to be really specific and graphs and charts and all that stuff, but you really, that was one thing that I learned when I first got started was you need to have um, a plan for your business. You don't want to run it like a hobby. If you really want to grow companies, million dollar companies that are grown have plans, okay? Um, how are you going to market? What are your fees? Are you going to have staff? Are you going to have um, actual locations? You know, what is your plan to for your company? What's your, what you know, what's the name of it? What's your motto? What's your mission? You know, what are we doing here? Okay, and so you want to make sure you have a business plan. When this is over, I'm going to send you guys a sample one that I use. And it's like it's a really um, simple one. You don't have to fill in all the blanks in the business plan, but it's going to be just a basic idea of how to. And then the next thing that I learned actually this year was creating a strategic objective. Um, and I'll send you guys a sample one of those too. So a strategic objective basically helps you look long term. So a lot of people, they start a business and just have immediate goals. So, okay, I want to make this much this month or this much this year. But a strategic objective is going to basically, in five years, where do you want your company to be? You know, what products do you want to offer? What clients do you want to have? Um, you know, what kind of technology? And it's thinking long term. Um, the best quote that I heard was, and I always remember, I actually said it at an interview with Better Business Bureau, was um, what would put your company out of business? Like, find out what would put your company out of business and then do that. Like, um, like cabs, right? So when cabs were a, a big thing and then Uber came along and now a lot of cab companies are going out of business, figuring out what would be the next um, big thing and then do that. So that comes along with, and when you do your strategic objective, you want to, my coach had me do it in a way where it was like, find a peaceful place. It might seem kind of weird, but I'm telling you it works. Find your peaceful place. So for me, I just went to a nice hotel with a, um, with a, um, I like hotels anyway, but, um, what do you call it? A balcony. And it had like a, I think it was in South Carolina. So I had a beachfront. I was out at the water. I, you know, and it took me about two hours and I just started to dream and vision what I wanted. And so it helped me think long term and then put, create it. I was able to, it asks you a lot of questions. So it's not like you're just going from scratch. It asks you to think about a lot of things and it helps you plan long term. So, I think the biggest thing a lot of us we do when we start companies, we don't think long term. We think immediate. We think, how can I pay these bills really quick? And that's OK when you first start, but not really. You want to think long term and scale the company if you want to have a successful company that lasts beyond you. OK. OK. So five must haves. We're going to go through each one in detail. And I'm going to sc start screen sharing you guys some some websites and I'll put them in the chat as well. So you guys can save them or open them on your side and, and add them as a favorite to your well, to your browser. But um, I will. I will. I'm going to send to everybody. I got you. No worries, my dear. OK, so five must haves with your signing service is sales and marketing or distribution platform. Customer service, accounting, and taxes, okay? So we're going to go over all five of these in detail as much as I can, and then um, we'll open it up for Q&A. But this is going to take a while, so <laughs> sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride.